Hello and uh, welcome back. This is Danny Code, and we're going to continue on from our last episode. Um, in our last episode, we left off at chapter one. We we're halfway through chapter one, and we're going to continue chapter one today and finish it off. So let's get back into it. Ah, uh, yes, uh, and I've seen you've blown almost all of your seed capital. I don't want to be like that, so I'm giving you a little cash injection. But be more careful from now on. Thank you, Thomas. Uh, we can always use a little bit more seed capital. All right, so first thing I want to do is check out our tasks and see what we got to do. Uh, we need to connect Omaha to North Platte and Omaha to Cheyenne. So let's start with those two. And since Omaha is already connected to Norfolk, we just have to uh, connect up Norfolk, Norfolk to uh, North Platte. North Platte is, where is North Platte? There it is. Okay. So if you're having trouble locating a city or town, there's this handy list over here that you can just scroll through and find it and there you go these also um, you can also find trains in here so we just have the two trains um, the cities the flow of goods and some additional information the flow of goods we'll be using uh, in, the, in a little bit and I'll show you how that works so anyways okay so back on track uh, excuse the pun so uh, North Platte, we're going to put a station in North Platte and connect it up to Norfolk. And that should satisfy our first task. Lay a little train track here. Oops, there we go. And all the way up to Norfolk. There you go, looks good. Good. That's finished. Here we're making progress. Thank you, Thomas. Um, before I forget, though, what we're going to do, make sure there's a supply tower on this line. There we go. And, all right. So our next task is to connect Omaha to Cheyenne. And again, since... Thank you. Again, since North Platte is connected to Omaha via Norfolk, we can connect up North Platte to Cheyenne, and that should satisfy that task. So we'll do just that. Let's build a station, and I want a little bit bigger of a station in Cheyenne, because I know Cheyenne's gonna be a little bit of a, a hub here. Gonna rotate it a little bit also. Looks good. Okay. So let's build a track between Cheyenne and North Platte. There we are. And there we go. And as you can see, this is quite a long uh, line um, that includes a bridge and includes several bridges, it looks like. And we don't really want that because if you look over here, um, the total cost of this line is going to be 717000 and that's uh, that's much more than we have right now. So what we want to do is we want to edit this to make it more affordable and a little less um, bridgy. So the way we do that is we put a, uh, we'll just put one here, we'll put a little point here and then move the track down. So the bridges disappear. So now we're on a little bit more flat land. And you can see our total cost for the track now is 200, a little over 200,000. And we can definitely afford that. Um, but I think we can do a little bit better. We still have a little bit of a bridge going on here. Yeah, we have a couple bridges. So we can take those out as well. Put another point in here, pull this down. And that's better. That's, that saved us a little bit of money as well. So we'll go with that. Those politicians in Washington get on one's nerves. 
But now let's get back to your tasks. As you can see, Cheyenne is still a little town hoping for an upswing caused by the railroad connection. But a city will only attract new inhabitants if it is supplied with enough goods. Cities receive basic goods from the surrounding area. If you construct stations in the right places and establish rail lines, your trains will be used to transport goods and you will make profits for transportation. But for this, you have to know what goods a city actually needs. You can find out any city's current needs. Now select Cheyenne and view the city's demand for goods. Okay, let's do that. So we want to select, go down to Cheyenne here and select the city. And select the information tab. As you can see, Cheyenne currently needs only a handful of goods. And you can only deliver goods that are in demand. As the city grows, it will demand further goods. At the moment, you can supply grain and wood. Both of these goods are available to the north of Cheyenne. Okay, so this is showing, uh, just a little overview here, this is showing what the stock is in the city. So we have 1.6 of uh, grain and no corn and 1.5 of wood, etc. And then we have our weekly demand, which is pretty low, but that should grow as the city grows. And he's saying that we have Connect wood. Cheyenne to a timber business and a wheat farm and establish a new rail line that connects them both to Cheyenne. So what Thomas is saying that we have wood and grain up in up north here, and here we are. So we have the wood and the grain, and they're pretty close together. So what we can do is with a large station, it has a bigger circle of influence. Um, so we can incorporate both of those with just one station, which works out very well. Uh, rotate it a little bit and place. And there we go. And all we need to do now is connect up Cheyenne to that. Um, what we're going to do, though, is connect it on this other line here coming out of Cheyenne. And just connect it over here to cook, cropping, chopping, cook, chopping, excuse me. And that looks good enough. Um, and before I forget, I also want to put on both of these, the ones that we just made, um, supply towers. Supply tower there. And another supply tower. Uh, yeah, right there. That works. All right, so let's buy a train and give it a route from Cheyenne to Cook Chopping. Actually, we want to reverse that. We want to come from Cook Chopping first. So you can do that with up here in the upper left-hand corner. You can just change the routes however you want. And well okay. done. The city will soon grow. You can see how well it is being supplied at any time in the city dialogue. Basically, a city will grow once its demands are sufficiently met. I think you have learned enough. Complete the rest of your tasks. Okay. So, what else we got to do here? So, deliver 16 loads of cattle to Denver. So let's take care of that. Um, Denver is just south of Cheyenne. So, up, 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 here he is. Uh, Denver. Now, as I was saying earlier, we have these um, helpers out here, these lists of uh, cities and towns, trains, and the flow of goods. So, we want to see, so we know where Denver is, but we want to see where the closest cattle ranch is. So we'll just pick up cattle, and it's showing us that the cattle ranch is over here to the east. And there it is. So what we want to do is simple enough. We want to put a station in uh, Denver. We'll just go with a small station for Denver. And it looks like it's pointing the right way. So we don't have to rotate it. And then we want to put a station over here to grab the cattle. All right, and then put a rail line in. 
going from the ranch to Denver. And again, well, let's verify that. And again, we want to put in a supply tower before we do anything else. There we go. And also we want to put in, so our train doesn't, our train doesn't break down. We want to put in a uh, maintenance building in Denver. Okay. And we also want to do one in Cheyenne now that I think of it because our supply train from the north of Cheyenne, oops, um, may break down as well if we don't. There we go. So good so far. So all we need to do is buy a train and set it delivering cattle from the cattle ranch here to Denver. And off it goes. So in a few um, trips, it should satisfy that one goal. All right, our next goal is to deliver 16 loads of meat to Cheyenne. So if Denver is demanding meat or demanding cattle, that means that there's probably a, um, and, and there it is right there, that there is a meat industry. There we go, in Denver. So meat will be coming from Denver and going to Cheyenne. And we can confirm that by doing our flow of goods here and selecting meat. And indeed, meat is flowing from Denver to Cheyenne. So what we need is a just a rail line from Denver. going up to Cheyenne and we will put that on this line here and I think that looks good there's a bridge here so maybe we can get the cost of the rail down a little bit perhaps yeah much better so that got rid of the bridge and it saved us a ton of cash There we go. And before I do anything else, I just want to put signals in here, some stop signals to make sure that we have no crashes or no issues with um, train traffic. Okay, so what's going to happen is if traffic is coming, if trains coming from the cattle ranch, it'll stop here at this signal if the station is busy and the same will happen with traffic coming from Cheyenne to Denver. It'll stop here if they're, if the station is, is busy as well. And before I forget, let's put in a supply tower here between Denver and Cheyenne. Perfect. And both Denver and Cheyenne have a maintenance building, so we don't need to uh, worry about that. So we just need to set up a rail line between Denver, supplying the meat to Cheyenne, and confirm and buy a locomotive. And we can't. <laughs> we need a little money. Okay, so let's put that on pause for a minute. And nope, not pause. Let's stop doing that. Can we stop doing that? I want to stop doing that. I guess whatever. Okay, so speed up time here a little bit and it looks like that was our first load of cattle to Denver and we're halfway there already so that is good and okay we have enough for a train so set up a rail line Denver to Cheyenne then add a locomotive, and there we go. And that should take care of the meat to Cheyenne. And there it goes. Rocking and rolling. All right, so those are those two tasks well on the way. Um, the 
third task in this group here, we have connect 150,000 people to your rail network, and we already have 101,000 people. Um, so that is very good. And I think that'll continue to grow as the cities grow that are on the rail, uh, the rail network. But what I want to do, and when we we're connecting up these cities well before. Well done. The citizens of Denver are impressed by the railroad. Good. Thank you, Thomas. Um, what we want to do is set up some passenger line, some passenger trains between Cheyenne and um, North Platte and North Platte to Norfolk. Actually, they don't have to just be passengers. They can be goods or whatever needs to be um, transported. So let's just do that real quick. And before I do that again, we're going to put some signals in here to control traffic. So, oh wait, no, we don't need signals because these are on two different lines, but we do need a signal here because there's traffic coming in from the south on that platform. We need two signals actually. We need signal, stop signal here. They'll stop traffic coming from the north if the station is occupied and we need one here that'll stop traffic from the south if the station is occupied. Okay, so with that done, um, let's set up a passenger line from Cheyenne all the way to North Platte. Uh, again, it doesn't have to be passengers, it could be freight, passenger, whatever, just setting up a line. Um, there, adding the locomotive, and that should bring in and uh, bring in passengers and whatnot, and help the city grow. Okay, add one more between North Platte and Norfolk. Again, we want to put in some signals between those just to make sure traffic runs correctly so signal there and a signal there and another signal in Norfolk another couple of signals actually I don't think Norfolk has on that station any signals surrounding that station and I don't know if this is the most efficient way to do it um, tell me up down in the comments if this is the way you guys do it. I'm not sure. But this is the way I found it works for me. Alright, so. Um, and we have enough for train, so we want to set up a rail line between uh, Norfolk and North Platte by a train. And off it goes. Cool. That works. All right. So now that should help the cities grow better. And that should help us get to this goal here. Or this task. Um, and we're halfway done with delivering meats to Cheyenne. So all three of these should get done in time. This one is obviously done already. So um, our last goal here is reach a population of 30,000 in Cheyenne. We're already up to 18,000 and it looks like we're rising. So we'll leave that one alone just for now. Connect Omaha to Rock Springs. Okay, so, um, so what we wanna do there, since Cheyenne is already connected to Omaha, we wanna connect Cheyenne to Rock Springs, which is over here to the west. And we're going to need more money. So I am going to do a jump cut here and wait for us to get more money. OK, so what we want to do is we want to connect up Cheyenne to Rock Springs over here in the west. And um, since Cheyenne is already connected to uh, Omaha, that will connect uh, Rock Springs to Omaha, which is our task. So I already set up a, I already bought a uh, station. I have a station over here 
in RockSpring. So all we have to do is set up a, uh, we would just need to lay some track. So we're gonna lay some track all the way. We're just gonna do it all the way to Cheyenne here, which is a little south. There we go. And it's gonna stop right here and then kind of go in like that. Connect it up. There we go. Okay, so this is red. So we have an issue here. So what we're gonna have to do is edit this a little bit. And why is it red? Where is the red coming from? I don't know. So let's just start editing that and see if we can't sort that out. Um, first off, we wanna kinda of go up into this pass here instead of going through the mountains. So let's put a point here. That's better. Okay. And here's a tunnel. We wanna get rid of that tunnel. So what we want to do is put a point here and go up into this pass. That is much better right there. And that is darn near perfect, actually. That looks great. So let's build that. Now you've managed to cross the Great Plains, a masterpiece. Okay. So what we want to do here is, again, we want to make sure that we put a signal in. So traffic will stop if there's um, if the station is occupied. And again, we want to put a signal here. That works. And on this line somewhere, we want to put a supply tower. I want to kind of put it in the middle here. So let's just eyeball this and in the middle, probably right, right here in this little pass. So supply tower. And there we go. Um, again, we have to wait a little bit to get a little bit of money so we can actually start a train down that track. Um, let's see how we're doing on our other goals. We have 133 out of 150, so that's good. And we have one more to go for the meat to Cheyenne, just one more. <laughs> um, okay, and we're pretty close to our 30,000 in Cheyenne. We just need another uh, little bit here. All right. Ah, uh, yes, one more thing. Your company has also a research department to help you unlock new locomotives and other innovations. Open the research dialogue to find out more about it. Cheyenne will flourish thanks to you. And for each mile of track that we lay, we receive 10 square miles of land. The politicians have no idea of the value of the assets they're giving away, but that stays between us. Sure. Thank you, Thomas. Okay, so let's open up our research here. Here you will find the advances that can be achieved in the current era. Advances from previous eras are usually already active, but what the future holds, we do not know. For each advance, you require innovation points, which you get automatically each month, and which can be increased in various ways. Now, take a look around here, and then unlock an innovation of your choosing. How about a new locomotive? How about it? So, all we have to choose from here is this um, express trains. Um, no, I'm not sure I want to do that. And a new locomotive. I think a new locomotive is the way to go here. So we'll do that. My opponents say I'm lining my own pockets. These are, of course, hideous lies. And look at it this way. With the profits I'm making, I can invest much more. Jobs, jobs, jobs. Jobs, jobs, jobs. I have to wrangle with a lot of competitors, but if one person really gets on my nerves, then it's that Beatrix von Pomp. What? You haven't encountered her yet? Be glad. She takes everyone to the cleaners. Alright, thank you Thomas for the warning. Alright, so we have a little bit of money here now. And so what we're going to do is set up a rail line between excellent Rock 
Cheyenne is becoming a major railroad hub, and the credit is all ours. Thank you, Thomas, again. And so um, we have what we're going to do, a uh, rail line between Rock Springs and Cheyenne. Um, so that should take care of our last task, and that, that is it, I think. No, except for the, uh, we're almost here at the one growing very rapidly, so we'll get that very quickly. And getting there. Okay, so good. Um, so let's set up a rail line, or yeah, so set up a train going between Cheyenne. and Rock Springs. And we'll use one of our new fangled number 51 dragons. Awesome. So that should take care of our last task, eventually. Do you know that many there people call the vast stretch of land between the Mississippi and California the Great American Desert? Those fools. Once my railroad has opened everything up, the value of these lands will go through the roof. Thank you, Thomas, again. Um, okay, so our last task here is transport 100 passengers from Cheyenne to Rock Springs. And we already got 21 under our belt. So we're doing very well. Okay, so this should be our last trip between Cheyenne and uh, Rock Springs. Because if you look at our tasks here, we only have one more passenger to go that will complete this task. Um, so we'll just do a little ride along and wait for that to happen. And here we go. Let's speed it up a little bit. This is a long route. And here comes Rock Springs. And once we deliver this last passenger, we should be done with the scenario. Or this chapter, I should say. Progress is enormous. The far west is no longer so far away anymore. And the people are slowly realizing that trade helps create prospering cities. We still have a long way to go, but the Transcontinental Railroad is coming. Here we go. Okay, so this should end with a little bit of a sequence of a, vid a little bit of a video sequence here. And um, here we go. In spite of all the challenges, the Union Pacific Railroad managed to cross the endless expanses of the Great Plains and conquer the merciless slopes of the Rocky Mountains. The Central Pacific Railroad approached from the west, but the winter of 1868 brought all work to a standstill. The two lines lay just a few hundred miles across from each other, in the middle of nowhere in the mountains. The dream of the first transcontinental railroad seemed to be within touching distance, but was buried by house-high masses of snow and blown away by icy snowstorms, a dream that had begun almost four decades before. And there we go, we got president. So I think we did well. All right, so we'll end the video there. And yeah, thanks for watching. And please, if you like the video, subscribe and, and like. And uh, if you have any suggestions or other comments, please put them down below in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.